The holiday travel rush is on and you can expect to see jammed highways and packed airports as millions of people enjoy this long holiday weekend. CBS 2's Asal Rizai live at O'Hare right now with what travelers are anticipating. Asal? Yeah, Suzanne, so what you can expect, especially if you're heading here to O'Hare International, where we are, I had someone just tell me that all five economy parking lots are completely full and they're uh, telling passengers to go park in the indoor parking now. So that's a heads up for you if you're still planning to get to O'Hare today or tomorrow, the lots are filling up. But as far as inside goes, smooth sailing so far. We're seeing check-in lines uh, pretty empty at this hour. We saw a morning rush here earlier, but especially for security, and even checking in only taking about five to 20 minutes or so. AAA expecting more than 37 million Americans to actually drive this holiday weekend. So you're going to see a different story on our highways. We've obviously got construction happening on the Kennedy and that's been causing backups just on regular days. So that could possibly be a lot worse this weekend. Expect major delays there. I've got good news though as far as numbers go when it comes to gas prices. We're down 15% per gallon over the the last 30 days here in Illinois. Last year, a regular gallon of gas was closer to $5. I want to put some numbers on the screen for you here so you can see what you can expect at the pump this weekend. City of Chicago at 447 a gallon. Chicago suburbs at 425. Take a look at Lake County, Indiana, though, at 388. Michigan gets lower at 362 and the lowest is in Wisconsin, of course, at 357 a gallon. Overall, the national average for a gallon of gas is over a dollar cheaper than a year ago. So good news for the many people that are opting to go to their destinations by driving this year. We do know that despite high ticket prices, flights are pretty booked and airlines are also seeing a major, major increase of people traveling. So give yourself an extra time if you're heading to O'Hare to Midway. The highways are packed and once you get through here, uh, get to O'Hare, things start to get a little bit smoother once you start to check in. We're going to keep an eye on this for you right now, Suzanne. No cancellations, no delays to really report. I'm live at O'Hare. Asal Rezai, CBS 2 News. Thanks so much, Asal.